Right. Hey, I'm Jamie Aaron, and uh, today we're going to be talking about three of the most iconic guitars and what they do and what their features are, and maybe which one might be right for you if you're looking for a, a new guitar. So the first one we're going to start with is actually the first one of the three uh, that was invented, and this is a Telecaster-style guitar. Um, came about in the early 1950s. It's a solid body guitar, just a solid block of wood, and it has two pickups. So in the neck position, So it's fairly bright, but uh, it's a good single coil pickup sound, so it's a little thinner. So then if we go to the middle position, we have the neck and the bridge pickup working together. And this is a great sound for funk rhythm guitar. And kind of get that Prince sound uh, in the middle position. And it's just combining these two pickups. And then when we go to the bridge, uh, it's a lot brighter. Telecasters are known for having a bright and twangy sound, very popular in country music. Great for that kind of thing, too. The cool thing about a Telecaster is it really can get you almost any kind of sound. It's pretty basic in terms of its function. Um, got one volume knob that works for both pickups and a tone knob that works for both pickups. And the tone knob just takes the sound and darkens it a bit. So darken that a bit. You can use it. Telecaster as a jazz guitar. works on all the pickups, so you can actually take a little bit of the edge off of the bridge pickup if that is a bit bright. You can take a little bit of the edge off with the tone. You can also do a cool Danny Gatton trick and get a little mini wah pedal going. So that's the Telecaster. Cool. Awkward guitar change, stand by. Yeah. Let me make sure this one's actually in tune. So the next guitar we're going to look at is a Fender Stratocaster. And this guitar came a couple years after the Telecaster. Uh, it's kind of its, its brother, the next in line in the Fender line. came out in 1954. And this one was a little bit different than the Telecaster. It's still a solid body, still a solid block of wood. Um, but it has a contoured body. That's one feature, unlike a Telecaster, to sort of fit up against where you play. So it made it a little bit more comfortable. Uh, and it also, unlike the Telecaster, had three single coil pickups, which gives more tonal options. So let's run through all the pickup sounds on the Stratocaster. So when you start in the neck position, darkest sound, which works for rhythm or lead stuff. Uh, the next position in the Strat gives you a little bit of a kind of a quackier sound, and that's combining both the middle and the neck pickup. So this one's great for funk rhythm kind of stuff. Then you get the middle all by itself. A little bit brighter sounding. And in the next position, you get the middle and the bridge combined together. Thank you. 
Once again, another good kind of funk R&B rhythm sound. And then you get the bridge pickup, which... A little brighter, mm -hmm. but if you have some distortion on the dry line. sound. So the Strat, even though there are three pickups, only has two tone knobs. The first tone knob is for the neck pickup. So you can hear it darkens that sound up. And it'll obviously work in that position too, as long as the neck pickup is engaged. And on a standard Strat, the middle pickup will correspond with the second tone knob. But what a lot of people do, which is very common, is to wire the tone knob here to the bridge pickup where the tone knob's a little more useful because if you have a real bright sound, sometimes you want to dial it back. And I learned about that from Eric Johnson's instructional video and that's kind of how he gets a little thicker sound. In the Just dial that tone back a bit. If you hear that, it'd be kind of bright. Let me dial that back a little bit. Just thickens up the sound a bit. So Strat is a great all-around guitar as well for rhythm stuff, lead stuff. You know, it's been played by everybody from Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan, to rhythm guitar players like Niall Rogers, of course John Mayer, synonymous with the Strat. So it's great, obviously, for a very specific sound. You can only really get that kind of sound on a Strat-style guitar. And uh, one other feature is the tremolo system on a Strat. You'll see here, I do not have my whammy bar in, but I still keep this floating bridge up a little bit so I can still get that effect by tapping on it. But if I had the whammy bar, when I bend it down, it moves the bridge via these, str uh, these springs in the back, and when the springs move, it lowers the pitch so you can get some cool vibrato effects. So those are some of the unique features of the Fender Stratocaster. So the next guitar we're going to look at is a Gibson ES-335. Uh, the ES stands for Electric Spanish. And this guitar came out in the late 50s, so a few years after the Strat. And this guitar is a whole other animal compared to the Strat and the Tele. First off, you can tell it's a lot bigger, and uh, no longer are we talking about a solid body instrument. This is a semi-hollow guitar. So the sides are completely hollow. You can see the F holes there, hollow in there. But in the center, you have this big center block. And that's completely solid. So you can get the sustain um, from having the, the hollow element, but it's not gonna feed back like a true hollow body guitar. In the late 50s, rock and roll is becoming very popular. People were cranking their amps, starting to experiment with getting an overdriven sound, and those hollow body guitars were just feeding back because they were completely hollow. So by putting that center block in, guitar players could still have that sort of thick tone from a hollow guitar, but not have feedback. So the other main difference, of course, is that this has humbucker pickups. So unlike single coils, humbucker pickups, they're a lot thicker sounding. They also don't have the buzz that the other guitars pickups have. And uh, so let's go ahead and just hear what the neck pickup on the Gibson sounds like. So you can hear that humbucker. It's a lot thicker. So it's a great jazz guitar. Also, you know, great for rock, for strumming stuff, just a good, nice, thick, but good for clean stuff. Uh, so if we move the position to the middle, like a Telecaster, since there are two pickups, the middle position gives us both pickups working together. So great for funk rhythm. Um, it's also great for kind of a blues sound. And I also use this position for R&B comping, just playing chords. And a middle position is good on this guitar because 
if you want to sort of cut through the mix of a whole band playing a part like that, it's not going to be so bright, but it's also not going to be too thick and get buried in the sound. Uh, and so then moving on to the third position here, the uh, bridge pickup, it's going to be a lot brighter. Um, but what's cool about a Gibson style guitar is with the three-way switch, if you're in the middle, you can actually mix the bridge and the neck together. And so if this sound is a little, little too, too dark for you, you can just pull out a little bit of the neck pickup and have more bridge pickup in the mix. Or you can take out some of the bridge pickup and have more neck pickup. So it really gives you the chance to mix the sound and really fine tune that exact sound that you're looking for. And if you t turn one of them off completely, you get that fun trick. So onto the bridge pickup. A lot thicker, but with a humbucker pickup, it gives you a great lead sort of sound. And if you see here, we got a tone knob also that's just associated with the bridge pickup. And if you dial that back, you can get that Eric Clapton, the woman tone. So we have bridge pickup all the way up, but with the tone dialed back. So 335 is just a great guitar for, for rock, for blues, for jazz. It's a good kind of all-around guitar, and it gives you those nice thick humbucker pickups. Gibson 335. So those are three of the most common and iconic guitar models, um, although there are other styles of guitar and other guitar makers. And the best advice I'd give if you're looking to get a guitar, to go to a guitar store and just try a bunch of guitars and find one that feels right for you. Check out who your favorite players are and, and what they're using, and just go play and find the guitar that you connect with. And all these style guitars come in various price points. So if you're on a limited budget, you can find a 335 style guitar, a Telecaster, a Strat, a Les Paul, any of those guitars at the budget that works for you. So uh, you, really, you know, it's up to you which style makes the most sense. And there are people from all genres that play all these different guitars. You can find a jazz player with a Tele just as much as you can find a rock player with a 335. So just go to a store play a bunch of these guitars and uh, see which one you connect with and that'll be the guitar that helps you speak.